Banjo spike 101. We've actually taken a regular banjo spike and we've clipped it and we've pre drilled a hole here in the fretboard at the seventh fret. You get banjo players that want anywhere between seven to the ninth position spike installed. Actually, Jay came up with this cool idea that this little Radio Shack heat sink works great for holding this banjo spike. I'm gonna go ahead and get the spike started. Got a nice little tack hammer. Now, the reason why I clip the spike is because even when you pre-drill a hole, if your spike's too long, sometimes it can just find its way and wander outside of the shoulder of the neck. Now, this is a 10 thousandths feeler gauge. There, it's just kissing the top of the feeler gauge. See? Just like that. Now, just for a little insurance, we can do just a teeny tiny, itty bitty drop of super glue right here on the back side of the shaft. Okay, I got some cyanoacrylate water thin super glue. Just a little bit now. There, that's all you need. Now, get your paper towel in here to wick it up. Just wick it up real nice. There, there you go, just like that. And here's our string. Don't glue your string in there. So that should do it. You wanna make sure your spike is not protruding above the height of the fret or you're gonna have a problem. There you go, that's it, done. Banjo spike 101, just like that.